All right, hello everyone. I want to share a word I received and a couple thoughts. So, uh, yesterday I was um, in the grocery store, ran into a Jehovah's Witness guy, and uh, <laughs> he was showing me Psalm 83 and how they call him Jehovah and this and that. And I said, well, in my Bible, they call him Jesus, and uh, Jehovah's another name as well. Um, what we got the great I am, we got the son of man, we've got um, a lot of different names, Emmanuel, he goes by a lot of different names, but uh, Jesus is definitely one of them, and uh, Jesus Christ, so, um, you know, if you're in any kind of religion, our friend Grace is here roaming around. Um, I would suggest that you find out when your Bible was written and how, and then compare it to, I guess, the King James Bible and, you know, see how they deviate and then pray to the Lord and seriously, with all your heart, mind, body, soul, just seek the Lord, God, <laughs> I mean, if if you're if you're Muslim, what your book was written in 632 A.D. or something, and then it changes and deviates, and you know says Jesus never died on the cross; they only thought he did, or there's no begotten Son of Allah, only Allah, or you know he didn't, you know Jehovah's Witness, he died on a torture stake, or you know there's no Holy Spirit, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, like all these different religions, like I've mentioned before. I, I'm, I mean, I could keep posting verses and all these things. You got to do it. I mean, it's, it's the most important thing you can do in your life. Truly seek the Lord. Ask that you be indwelt with Holy Spirit. Discern the spirits like 1 John 4. And, you know, again, strive to do the Lord's will. And, you know, if you're indwelt with Holy Spirit, you'll bear fruit and the truth will be revealed unto you. But, you know, if you don't, you could be totally deceived. You know, Satan's going to appear as an angel of light and deceive many. There's demons out there deceiving people. They think they're communicating with the dead. <laughs> anyway, um, you know, I've tried to share some testimony even in the last few days. And it's just sometimes it's just frustrating because you'll give people all the evidence and the facts and give them the avenues in which they can go and let them research it themselves. I mean, don't follow me, you know, but here's the information and they choose to remain ignorant, which means the information's there. They choose not to access it. So, um, you know, all I guess we can do is just pray for them. But, uh, knowing that the times we're in and truly believing the Lord's going to come soon and he's coming on the clouds and his elect are going up, you know, and this is all in the word and there is the rapture and I've posted all the verses and nobody ever answers or addresses any of the questions. I think there was one guy that tried to and all the answers were so ridiculous. <laughs> like, Anyway, all right. So um, what else did I want to share? Oh, um, you know, again when these things started sort of happening to me and I started hearing the Lord's voice and the Bible says my sheep hear my, my voice and Jesus even said it. Um, it's when I, I started truly seeking the Lord and then I was led to read to King James and I tried to start living out everything that's in that Bible, forgiving people, everything. I try to do everything that's in that book to the best I can. And it's all through the grace of God. It's not It's not on me. I can't do anything but through Christ, you know, right? And all this is in the Word. <laughs> but uh, that's when these things started happening. And, you know, when I were called to help the poor, were called to, to give and, you know, help other people. And I, I try to do that. I don't, you know, I'm not going to argue over how much we're supposed to give me. I try to give. 10%, sometimes more, sometimes less. And I give it to all different um, causes. Sometimes I'll, I'll buy gift certificates to people, homeless people I'll see on the street. Sometimes I'll give them food I have. 
clothes I have, <laughs> like hats, and co- whatever they need, you know, I try. Or I think one time there was a homeless guy, I went and bought him a backpack and all this stuff. Now, this is a ministry. I'm trying to bring people to Christ, but I don't ask for money. I don't want money. I don't want donations. Um, you know, I, I know some people do that, and it, and it's great. But I'm probably not going to give anybody money through this channel. Um, you know, there's scammers out on the Internet, scammers impersonating even my channel. And it's easy to discern because you just click on their site and they got, they'll say, sound the alarm, Jesus is coming. And they'll have my, my homepage picture. And then they have like no subscribers. They have no videos. <laughs> like <laughs> Anyway, um, so I don't really... You know, I pray for people and I try to do it right away. I don't say I will, will pray for you. I try to say prayer right there. And I include people in my prayers and pray. And Anyway, I guess that's... Uh, oh, an awesome thing that happened yesterday is though I ran into an older lady after I talked to this Jehovah's Witness guy and she had a cross and she was on fire for the Lord. And she said, oh, you got to meet my son. He was an alcoholic and he's recently, you know, come to know Christ. And, you know, anyway, we kept walking around the store and all. Well, the guy came up to me and I had given her a card to my channel and my phone number and all this stuff to this channel. And uh, anyway, this dude said he had like two days to live. He had prostate cancer and the Lord performed a miracle, cured him. And we had this awesome conference conversation great sharing of testimonies and you know hopefully i made another friend and um you know i don't i don't see any miracles or people being healed in any other name but jesus that's my experience that's my migraines were healed in the name of jesus i've seen other people healed in the name of jesus um this dude was healed in the name of jesus and there's so much testimony and all over the place about it and people like me trying to bring people to Christ and I'm giving you the archaeological spiritual and prophetic evidence over and over and over again and anyway um, again if you're in any religion or any other religion again the one world religions open this year all this is prophetic I believe Jesus is coming soon for his elect and this tribulation is going to start and there's going to be tribulation saints and all this is in the word and uh, I would definitely take a King James Bible and compare it to whatever religion you, you're into or sect of Christianity because many have been started because of some demon appeared to somebody or somebody decides they want to alter the book and then deviate from it. Seek the Lord, be led in the spirit of truth, and uh, the truth will be revealed unto you. All right. <laughs> Sorry about my babbling. This is the word I received. Indeed, the deception and blindness of those deceived is great, for they have not sought truth nor spirit. But you, my children, are not blind, for in seeking there is knowing, and in knowing your Lord your eyes are opened. You are called to believe and move away from sin. Ye are called to proclaim the good news, and in spirit ye are given an unction unto good works. Therefore it is written, In the fruit of thy works ye are known." Ye give testimony unto those who not listen. Be not disheartened, but knowing this, that my words are not wasted. And in planting seed, there comes great harvest. For ye are the sowers, and ye not know the fruit of thy labor until the harvest doth come. For many shall be saved in these words. Indeed, it is labor, and indeed ye suffer persecution in me. For are you not a child of God, and so they persecuted me before you? But is it not written that many then followed? Bear witness of your Lord, dear ones, and be not dissuade in untruths. But in unwavering faith stand on the truth that has been revealed unto you. Rejoice in the promises of your Lord, and be not disheartened in the things of the world. All right, everyone. Just feeling the Holy Spirit. I'll lead you to truth. And when I feel the Holy Spirit, it's, it's like a, I can't even explain it. It's um, 
I don't know, warm fuzzies all over. I get like these chills, like it's like electricity. I, I don't know what to tell you, but I feel it so often. And um, especially when I share testimony and anything that has to do with the Bible or the Lord. And uh, anyway, enough of my rambling. Um, I guess that's all I got to say. God bless in the name of Jesus Christ.